All right, so let's start with the most formal sort of summer office wear, and that is the summer suit. So if you guys are new to my channel, I love a suit. I own too many suits for someone that actually doesn't need to wear a suit anywhere ever. I don't work in a formal office environment, but I just love a suit. There's something so powerful about them. I love that juxtaposition of the fact that they're normally thought of as typically menswear, but then wearing it as a female. I just, I just love it. So having a nice summer suit is such a critical thing. You can get away with even a very casual like linen type suit. Frankie Shop has been churning out the linen suits. I will link some of my favorites down below, but of course, I think I mentioned dish in every suit. <laughs> I think starting from spring until easily into fall, I will be talking about dish. They're an Australian brand that I have just grown to absolutely love, and they make a fantastic linen suit. You can purchase their separates and put them together. This is a vest that I really love because it's oversized, because you can just yeah, I don't want anything too tight. I don't want anything that doesn't feel like it's airy, but I love this kind of 80s, the way that it buttons almost like a pea coat, uh, double-breasted, <laughs> some would call it. And yeah, I just think it's fantastic. I love that it's black, so it's very easy to wear uh, during the day and then wear it into the night, which of course, if you're a New Yorker, that's an absolute must. But two of these other suits, I actually purchased this suit my goodness, I wore this in May when I went out to LA, but this is such a fantastic summer suit. It is, it's from L'Atelier, which I've also done another video about. I have a little bit of a love-hate relationship with L'Atelier, I will say, but this suit actually came from, spoiler alert, I mean, you can go watch the video, but uh, the issue that I had with L'Atelier is that some of their suits that were coming from Hong Kong, they always arrived in the wrong size or the wrong color, and because they were coming from Hong Kong, it was already taking so long, like months, to get here. When they arrived and they weren't right, it was just like beyond irritating. <laughs> but I think they've realized that that's probably really hurting uh, their growth as a company, and so now you can get a lot of things actually from warehouses in the United States and you can get them within a couple of days. And this suit was one of them. I got this one of, during one of their sales, I think. And I just love the kind of like layered aspect to it where it almost looks like you have a vest on underneath of it, but you don't. It's really just a blazer. That is crucial in the summer. As much as I love layering and the look of layering, the actual idea of layering in the summer is a no-go. It's kind of a nightmare. So I will pop just an Aerism's tank from Uniglow underneath this and then wear the blazer. The pants are really lightweight, very easy breezy. I love the kind of little pin tuck at the ankle. And then I would pair these. Clearly this is a more formal outfit. And so really don't think it's probably appropriate to show the toe if you're going to be already going for a full suit. And I still find it a little strange to wear like an espadrille or something, especially into the office. To me, that's just like a little too vacation. So I still would go for a nice, just a classic pointed toe pump. I have my go-to Manolo Blahniks that I've worn for years and having them in like a bright, fun color. I love this cobalt blue. It's a fantastic color to match with black in the fall and the winter, but I really love pairing it with things like this that are still in neutral in the summer so that you kind of get those fun summer colors, but that you still look really put together and professional. So this is a fantastic summer suit. I absolutely love it. This other suit is an oldie, but a goodie. <laughs> this is from H&M, and I keep hoping they'll bring this out again year after year. I keep trying to find similar ones for you all every time I talk about it, but it's it's been a little challenging, so H&M, bring the suit back. It's the best suit. <laughs> it is a very lightweight suit. This one's even more formal in the sense that it's a very traditional sort of gray color. It's not sort of gray, it is gray. And I love the fact that it has this giant sleeveless vest because I think it's actually really great to pop like a black t-shirt on underneath of this. And then when you add the vest on top, it's not, you're still getting that air, frankly, more so than if you're wearing a traditional blazer that has long sleeves, but you're still looking refined. So, and the same thing, I would pair this with 
my it's actually same cute little bright manolos or even my little black gucci slides where maybe the heel is free my little mules but the toes are covered because once again feels weird to me to show my toes in the office especially if i'm wearing something as formal as a suit so definitely love the idea of like a sleeveless blazer a little cropped pantsuit as a more formal option now i'm gonna get into they're still formal, right, because they're a dress, and there are actually ways you can dress them up and make them appear to be more formal, depending on your accessories. You can add a belt, maybe, to make it more structured. And that's, I'm talking about shirt dress. <laughs> I'm wearing one. I'm also gonna talk through some of my favorites. This one from Frankie Shop is my all-time favorite shirt dress. It is, it's very oversized, which is a typical silhouette of Frankie Shop, if you're not familiar but I love it for that. I love that it's just easy, breezy, put it on. It has a nice drape to it. I usually wear, again, like a white tank top from Uniqlo, usually an airism one that has like nice breadth to the fabric. Or you can wear even a little slip under this if you're worried about it being see-through. Once again, can't say it enough, Uniqlo airisms. <laughs> that is what you need in the summertime. So they make a really great nude slip that you could wear under this and I personally like to keep the casual open style. I've mentioned this a million times and I'll probably say it a million times again in this video. The idea of having something tight around my body, I just think of my sweat sticking to it and I don't need to go into it, it's disgusting. So I prefer to wear it a little more open. However, this would also look very cute belted if I do say so myself. And Frankie Shop did bring this kind of version of a striped dress back in a few different colorways and a few different styles. I think it's more of a maxi dress than like a midi dress like this is, but regardless, because of the really nice long length and given that, of course, if you're wearing the proper undergarments, it's not see-through, this is a still a great option for a slightly more casual workplace where maybe you're not required to wear a suit, but you still want to look nice and, you know, you don't want to just roll in with a tank top and shorts <laughs> so so yeah i love a good shirt dress this is probably my most formal one i will say this one and then this one that i'm wearing i think is very fun i just got this from the real wheel it is a prada little shirt dress number it has such a weird like i can't put my finger on it it's like a little bit sailor it's a little bit Catholic school girl with the plates, pl pleats with the pleats. There's just a lot going on with this dress, but I, I kind of love that. I love the fact that it's really structured. And I, yeah, I love the fact it's got short sleeves, but it still really skims the body. I think it's a lot more flattering on my body than actually the Frankie Shop shirt dress that's like so oversized. And I love the length. I love that it goes to the knee. I would feel so comfortable wearing this into the office. I wouldn't worry about this whole thing like blowing up when I'm walking down the street. And I actually think it's really cute to kind of lean into the little like schoolgirl look of this with these really fun jelly-esque heel sandals. And these do show my toe, yes, I will say, but obviously this is a more fun kind of casual dress. So if you have like a more lenient work environment and you can get away with this, why not? So I do love the fact that you're still elevating it with a heel, but it's definitely more like fun summer with the jelly and with the little pleats and stuff. So yeah, and I love the fact actually that it has this, these, it looks like a little kangaroo pouch situation, like a 1920s, but it's actually uh, two pockets, <laughs> which is great. I have to wear a badge at work to be able to badge into the different floors. So the fact that this has pockets that I can clip that badge to means I'm never gonna get accidentally locked out and I love that. So another shirt dress, uh, I, that is another kind of step down in the rank of formal to casual is the linen shirt dress. And this is definitely gonna be the coolest option. I mean, clearly this one and the Frankie Shop dress, they have more structure to them, which in my mind makes them more formal, but that material isn't going to be as like easy breezy and feel as good as a linen dress. And this one from H&M, I will say, I actually purchased this a little more oversized because that's just kind of the style that I wanted. And I, it looks a little grubby right now, but I swear it looks great. This one I actually usually do add a little belt to just because it is oversized. 
but I love the darker linen color. I don't really need to worry about it being a see-through as say like a white linen. It also doesn't feel like as vacation-y that way. <laughs> if it's in a darker color, it feels like, okay, you know, I'm trying to be cool, but still, um, yeah, it looks like I'm, I'm wearing just like a nice sort of button up shirt dress into the office and not going on a Caribbean vacation. <laughs> so yeah, I think this is a great dress. I will say the slits are actually pretty high on the side. So sometimes I even wear just little like bike shorts underneath of it, depending on how windy it is. But yeah, a great linen dress. Like I'd, I'd recommend not doing white just because, especially if you live in a city, wearing anything white is a bit of a disaster. But it also just elevates elevates the look a little bit so it's more office appropriate. And actually something like this I think looks really good with just a slide. I love a slide. Once again, your toes will be out, but I think that, you know, adding a, a nice slide that matches with the belt, it just kind of ties everything together and it makes it look a little less like beach wear and a little more street wear in my opinion when you add those accessories in. The next thing that I want to talk about is the trouser and I'm not going to go into too much detail on this because I actually just did a whole video about this. I will link it above and below, but I cannot talk about this Everlane trouser enough. I love it so much. It is just like heaven. Oh, oh no. So yes, this, this is a cotton trouser, 100% cotton. I have them in both camel and black, and I love this trouser, but even more than just this trouser, 12, man, I can't talk today. Even more than this trouser, I love everything that you can pair with this trouser. And so this is what I really wanna talk about, are the types of tops that are great to wear to work in the summer. Don't sleep on the polo shirt. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. So you, you want to walk a fine line between looking to I'm um, going to a golf tournament and I'm actually just trying to look nice in the office. I love this Frankie Shop polo. I think it's I think what makes it special is the fact that a it's black. So, you know, it's not like a typical kind of polo Ralph Lauren pastel s color, but it's got these big shoulder pads in it and it is black. So as I mentioned in my trousers video, it's a really nice color combination to pair the black polo with the camel pants and add a little black belt on that. And it just, I think it looks really, really nice, very business casual, but still like you're putting in an effort and you feel very presentable, but not too much. I also mentioned this in my last video, but you have to be a little bit careful sometimes about what you're pairing with khaki just because you don't want to look too camp counselor. <laughs> so uh, I probably steer away from pairing like a white linen shirt with the khaki, which brings me to my next one. I do love a linen button up. This is a really nice short sleeved one from Kinse that comes out year after year. I will say the shape of it is a little boxy, so I actually do prefer to tuck this in to pants or to trousers to make it a little more structured, but I love this in my black Everlane trousers. I love that contrast of the white and the black, and so I will tuck it into that, and it just feels very sophisticated, very put together. If it's a scorcher and you just, and it's a very, very, very business casual office, then I will bring out the tailored short. So once again, depending on how lean your office is or how comfortable you feel, I love a professional short. So what does a professional short mean? Obviously everyone has their different levels of comfort in terms of you know how they feel in something or showing off their body. So for me personally, I feel still put together and professional and comfortable no matter who I'm around when I'm wearing a short that's high waisted, that has maybe like a pleat sort of detail in it. So it's not like tight on the booty <laughs> or anything like that. And something that it doesn't need to go to like the knee, it doesn't need to be like a Bermuda short to be appropriate, but like mid, mid, top of the leg tops. Like it definitely should pass the finger rule by far. You know, when you stand there, like when you're in school and you're trying to make sure your skirt's at least like four inches or something under your fingers, it always kind of annoyed me. Cause I'm like, what if you have long arms? Anyway, but I do think 
in some circumstances, a short can be a nice option when it is just like unbearable out. So if you're in the UK right now, or honestly, even if you're in New York and it's in the 90s, 100s, like you, you're looking at me like you're insane. I'm not wearing a pant. I might wear a dress, but a short is definitely potentially an option depending on where you work. So these are my go-tos. Let me know what your go-tos are, or if you have any of these items, maybe there's something else that you wear. I don't know. I feel like this kind of covers all the classics, but maybe I'm just completely missing something. <laughs> so let me know what your kind of summer go-to professional outfit is. And yeah, I'll see you all in my next video.